does uh, AX mean to you? I love AX, but so my heart is one of the best things that ever happened to me. It really just gets everyone together, and that's what I really like about it, is that everyone loves doing it. It's definitely a family. Well, AX, it isn't quite my life, but it's like a huge part of it. All my friends are in it. All my friends go to it. I get to play Smash all day. It's honestly the best tournament I've ever been to in my entire life. It is so fun. Great people, food, like what else can you say? My name is Ben Tobias, I'm 22 years old. Uh, a little bit about myself is I work in IT, uh, I work really long shitty hours, I work in a school and that's basically it. I do long distance bicycling, I, uh, that's it. AVX1 started out and it was just an obscure idea that I had. Uh, it actually wasn't even, I can't even take credit for the idea, uh, one of our friends, uh, Josh Grant, had uh, a Smash Bros. tournament, I think it was for Smash 64, which I believe that game came out in 99 or 2000. Um, <clears throat> so then a few months passed after that, and you know, I figured, you know, I really liked watching the game, I liked watching it competitively, and I figured, you know, who's the best out of my friends? Started in a man's garage. People came to this man's garage to play a game, and over two years, we evolved into this this tournament where people know us from seven different states. Like, it's it just blows my mind. turns out we had a small crew from Philadelphia and a small crew from Lancaster County show up and that was really cool because we met some people and made some, some pretty good friends that we still talk to today. So we wanted to, uh, we wanted to expand some more so we ran out of a conference room at the Best Western Hotel in Shillington and we, that was, so then we had people from Delaware, Maryland, I think we had some people from Virginia, we got people from Pittsburgh so that was a big expansion for us. Uh, especially now that we had like an actual venue and everything went great except for the fire alarm going off in the middle of the tournament. Uh, that was nuts, but... AX4, we got... We kind of had people from like the same areas and we got people from New Jersey that time. So there's, that's another state to add to the list. Uh, but then f AX4 through 6 were pretty much consistent in the growth that we had. Um, we used the same venue each time because it's a, it's a big multi-purpose gym. It's you know it, it really suits. It has Wi-Fi as a kitchen. We started catering. Um, after AX3 was when we really defined ourselves as a team, just because we you know we had these people from all these different states coming, and there were a lot of people who wanted to help out. So we said, okay, you know, let's take a step back and let's kind of really evaluate who can do what. So we actually had our first meeting at Cody's house and a lot of people showed up to it, a lot of people who showed interest in actually um, running the tournament. Um, and just from there, you know, we just kept growing and growing and growing. Uh, I'd say the, the biggest turnout we ever had was AX7. Um, that, that was the time I had announced the tournament at, I would say, like 6 o'clock at night, and by 8 o'clock we already had 60 people confirmed going. And that was just nuts to me. I mean, that was like, the, that was... I was like, wow, like we're, we, you know, we're, we're growing, like we're pretty much going somewhere. And um, I think in total we had 150 people show up to that tournament, to AX7. Derek was actually one of the first people who I went to to help run AX. And I had asked him about brackets because I didn't know how brackets worked back then. And, you know, this is the first time I've ever done anything. Um, 
And Derek's like, oh yeah, I'll help you. I said, okay. Um, but now, uh, in the past few months, Derek has really started organizing a lot. I mean, he's largely responsible for organizing the Smash Bros. scene in Reading, specifically, and he's, um, he goes out every other week to the bi-weekly. He's in Albright. I mean, he's just going around to all these tournaments, and, like, that's kind of what we need is someone who's, like, really is going out and seeing what's happening, because although I've been running this highly regarded tournament for two years, I've never been to a Smash Bros. tournament other than my own. So Derek is is really important just because he's like we have so many connections now that we wouldn't have before of people who are offering to help and give an extra helping hand just because like Derek is going out and meeting these other smashers and like you know it's just someone from our team who's actually doing this so that's Derek um Ben he's like uh yeah he's at the start of AX he's he's my homie one of my best friends and he runs an awesome tournament um, puts in a lot of hard work for AX, like like a lot of sacrifices, which is awesome of him. Um, he's great, you know. I'm glad he's very like still. He still has a, he's a huge passion for AX, which is it, it's hard sometimes. Like um, not everyone can do it, um, but time and time again, you know, he always keeps that passion. Josh Mary, our head chef. Sorry, head cook. Get so pissed about that. My brother, like we wouldn't like AAX is known for food. Um, he oh man, he puts in a crazy amount of work. I cannot believe how much he, I can't believe he stays in that kitchen all day. And he's just he's slaving away cooking, 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 and he, he he's happy to be there. And I'm really glad he's part of the team. My brother works his ass off, knowing that he is not going to his job so that he can go to AAX to cook food. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Brandon, he is the number one person who I've clashed heads with throughout this entire thing. But like, I just, I would not have been able to do it without him. Like, I, if it was not for Brandon, we would not have. I mean, it would have ended it like after like AX3. And um, you know, he's still putting in 110 percent. Cody is. Um, he's the type of person where you don't have to tell him to do anything. He will just do it by himself. I mean, he's just. You know, just just nonstop. I mean, he'll he'll give me a call and be like, "Yo, I, I, I have something new." Everything that you see that gets uploaded, it's his doing. He is by far the best. And everybody else, they're there the day before, the day of, the night of. They are setting up, being there to help out and then tearing down because they are dedicated to AEX. Every single person in a blue shirt is dedicated to AEX. I truly believe that. We've been there from the start. We'll be there till the end. Well, AEX is really special to me uh, because I've obviously I've I founded the tournament and I started out in my garage and it's probably, I put the most work into it than I've put into anything else in my entire life. Uh, you know, we just built it from the ground up and we, you know, a lot of people started joining the team, a lot of people came and, and went and, uh, you know, it was basically my baby. But we still are actively, I mean, like, even, you know, we have a cult following. Um, people come back. You know, we see this, we see a lot of the same people each time and they're good players and it's because we run a good tournament. Um, but 10, I am hyped for 10. Ah, oh, I'm super excited. It should be over 100 players, almost guaranteed, like with all the people confirmed so far. It's gonna be so many great games that day. So many great games. I am super pumped for it. And Honestly, I just can't wait. So I just want to get there and play. AX10, uh, we really are expecting it to be a bigger tournament. I'm so excited for AX10.